Married life is lovely. <laughs> the wedding day, I absolutely was like just on cloud nine and I rode that high for as long as I could. Um, and we went straight on to like a honeymoon, mini moon after. Um, yeah, so I was definitely buzzing after that. And I wanted it to be a big wedding because we'd waited so long. I just felt so lucky to be wearing um, one of my favorite designers and like oh, the so thank you so much. And just the process of like the fitting and um, trying on the, the, the shapes, the different um, styles and working with the designer. Like I remember when we first um, spoke about doing the dress he he kind of like asked me all these questions Daniel he's amazing and he was like what's your favorite scent what's your favorite movie what's your favorite cut like all these questions to help him like have the vision for the dress I think I said my favorite scent was Chanel number five which is classic um flowers I think I said hydrangeas um and Movie, I think I said Football Factory. No, I didn't say that, <laughs> but that is one of my favourite films. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can't actually remember what I said, but I, I am a fan of Football Factory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one of the nice things it seemed as an outsider of, of about your wedding was all the nice details. Like you had a secret speakeasy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I love such that. a cool idea. Thank you. No, I just, I think I'd been to a festival where like it was like really late, like seen all the, the bands and then, I can't remember, it would have been like 2 a.m. or something, everyone found this like secret bar like underneath this like secret passageway. I don't know, I just remembered it in my mind. And then I wanted to kind of have that element on the on the wedding day. So not everyone knew about the secret bar, but word was getting around. And I then you had it. to like go through this bookcase and then you got into the speakeasy, which was kind of inspired by, they used to, actually it might even still be around, Scotch bar. Have you been to Scotch? In St. James's, it's like an after hours club. Yes. I don't know if it's still there or not, but I used to go there a lot back in the day. <laughs> and it was very old school speakeasy style. So that was kind of inspired. Um, by there. Because the speakeasy had all these like um, trumpets and like trombones, my brother's got this thing where at the end of the night he plays the trumpet really badly, okay. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where it ended with him playing the trumpet and everyone going, whoa. They're such nice <laughs> memories, aren't they? Yeah, with the trumpet playing. <laughs>